is Josie. Hi, and I'm Emma. And this is the Emma and Josie art class. And today we're doing collages of indoor and outdoor spaces. Yeah, so we're thinking like your dream home or your dream garden, or like it doesn't have to be your dream one, but it's a good theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll show you some that I've done before. I did outdoor spaces. So here's one. <gasps> Just like I'm outdoors in a beautiful garden. And it has some and trees. She's that beautiful lady. Yeah, she's one of my like little figures that I found. But it has some trees, sky, and water. Yeah. Now, Emma, really what did cool. you do? Well, I did some indoor spaces, kind of like a dream home. One second. Yeah, you could say that here's one I made earlier. A cat lady in it, and she's really moody, and she's going like that. And oh there my she god! Is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow! So cool. So today we're going to teach you how you can make your own indoor and outdoor spaces. <laughs> so for this class, you will need magazines. Ooh! How handy! Perfect. Some magazines but also newspaper or shop catalogue books. Um, we also need scissors. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Ooh, be careful. Thank you. You'll also need some scrap piece of paper, like old white and coloured paper that you have just lying around in your house. Ooh, that's a lot. Perfect, thank you. And what else? You'll need glue. You need like PVA glue or a prick stick. Oh, look at this fancy glue. <gasps> Perfect. What else will we need? Oh, you can have like a sketchbook or anything that you have old drawings, any old pictures. Ah, oh, perfect. This is a picture of my friend Frida. Um, and of course, you need paint pencils, pens, anything to draw with. Beautiful. And oh, more paint. This is Collage is a form of visual art that assembles different parts resulting in a new whole. Anything that can be stuck onto paper can be used to make an exciting image, including magazine pages, sweet wrappers, dried flowers, and old drawings. His name comes from the French word collar, which means to glue. Anna Hock and Raoul Hausmann were both Dada artists working in the early 20th century. They made collages out of magazines, newspaper clippings, and found objects to create playful images which critiqued pop culture and the politics of their time. Child is a British illustrator who you might recognise from the Charlie and Lola book and TV series. She works in collage, drawing on coloured paper and photos to create vibrant images. In the picture on the left, we can see how she's cut out images from magazines to make the trees. In the picture on the right, she has created both an indoor and outdoor scene by including a window. Some other collage artists we recommend you look at include Eric Carle, illustrator of The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and Richard Hamilton, who created collages of the changing homes of the 1960s. Also, Sydney Jasmine Colby, an artist from the Bahamas who makes collages about her experience of family life, and Matisse, a French artist famous for his choppy geometric collages as well as his paintings. This outdoor piece, I went in a magazine and I looked for any trees, any water, any sand or grass, and I used to put a figure in it. So in this next one that I'm doing, I've actually got an old magazine that I've finished reading, and I'm just looking through it to see any grass, any trees, or anything that looks exciting. Um, so, so far I've found some big, big leaves, which I think will be really exciting to look at, um, and some grass. 
which is really cool. But also this time, I've had some scrap green pieces of paper, so I've decided to cut them out and have a bit of drawings in my work, which I think will be exciting. And I always like a figure in my work, so I found some old drawings that I did, and I think I'm going to cut them out and put them in my landscape. What about you, Emma? Wow, um, I think, like you, you're making another outdoor one. I think I might make another indoor one. Um, so in this one, I um, I drew like a wallpaper I wanted to have. So um, I like looked up a like fancy wallpaper design that I'd seen in like fancy restaurants and that sort of thing. And I drew it myself in biro, so it looks a bit like messy but I thought that would be like fun to contrast with like some of the images so um yeah I have some drawings in it like the chair and like um I don't know like the steam from the mugs and like the background but then there's also some photos like I made a window I was looking for pictures um of curtains in I think maybe even the same magazine as Josie mm -hmm. we were doing a lot of collages together um, and another thing for the indoor spaces, I looked for little um, little paintings and this one's actually a bubblegum wrapper and things that could look like um, pictures on the wall. And yeah, I also like to have a figure but I decided to have a little cat lady instead. And Tips and tricks for making your collage. You can paint abstract shapes and patterns to use in your collage to create different textures that could be cut out to become grass or the sky or patterned clothes. Get a piece of paper and some paints and different sized brushes, maybe even a sponge, and see what different marks you can make and how the colours can mix together. Some of the techniques I've done are sweeping brush strokes, stippling with the top of my brush and dabbing with a sponge. I've layered and mixed different colours to make more interesting textures. You can also draw your own patterns for your work. This can be done by repeating shapes like flowers to create wallpaper or squares to look like bathroom tiles. But it can also end up being the pattern for a picnic blanket or a dress. Completely up to you. By doing this, you have artistic license to make your dream house or garden look like however you want. Also draw objects for your scene, for example, an armchair or a cat or a potted plant. Having drawings as well as photographs from magazines creates an interesting contrast. I have drawn a cartoonish armchair on coloured paper. I started with a pencil in case I made a mistake and then I went over it in different coloured pens to make it stand out and imply shadows. I leave that I saw in a magazine instead of cutting it straight out the magazine itself. Once I drew the outline, I cut it out and glued it onto my collage. Then, with the leftover scraps of green paper, I drew more leaves, not wasting any of the paper. Some have outlines, some don't. I'm making a window for my living room scene, similar to the Lauren Child collage we looked at earlier. I found a picture of an outdoor spa that I wanted to be outside the window. I'm cutting it to size so it fits the wall. It's helpful to not stick everything down at once because it is important which order you layer your pieces of paper. The window frame has to be stuck on after the outdoor scene and then if I want to put curtains on, that would go after the window frame.
old photo of my friend that had been lying around the house and I wanted to include in my work but it was printed in black and white so it didn't look vibrant enough for my collage. To make the image more colourful I cut out the black and white dress my friend was wearing in the photo and instead replaced the dress with my own cut out dress using a colourful abstract painting I had made earlier as the fabric. Final touches. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess I'll just make sure everything's glued down properly. Mm -hmm. Don't want it falling apart. Uh, and we are done. Yeah. Emma, lost the pointy lid. It took glue back on. Mm -hmm. back make on. sure you put your lids on. <laughs> so we started sitting down and now we're on our feet because we had yeah. so much fun and we hope you did too. <laughs> but let's see what we've done. Do you want yeah. to go first, Emma? Okay, so... Wow! Should yeah. we see it on the big screen? Wow! Oh my gosh, Emma! So you can see we have a lamp. Yeah. We've got you and our friend Dom in a costume that from a long me. time ago. Recycling an old printout from a sketchbook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, teddy bear, you guys are watching TV. Yeah. We've got some socks everywhere. We've got a bit of paint. We've got a bit of drawing. Yeah. We've I've got, got some magazine stuff. Well done, Emma. Do you want to show everyone what you've done? Yeah. This is my outdoor garden. Beautiful. Paradise. Stay on the big screen. Wow! <laughs> Basking in the sunlight. Yeah, so we've got the sun and mm -hmm. we've got my friend. How did you do friend. the sun again? Um, I found some scrap paper, um, painted some colours on it and then cut it out into a sun shape, which is really just circle and triangles. Um, but yeah, so we've got some photos, some collage, some drawings. Um, yeah. Um, Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you had fun. And remember, if you cut out any pieces you liked but didn't end up using in your collage, you can keep them safe in a folder for next time. Or recycle them. True.